Hi guys, this is Andrew Burgess for NetTuts, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to teach you about CSS selector specificity. Um, you see here I've got, just got a quick page with a couple of paragraphs in it. It's loaded here in Firefox. Normally, in CSS, we expect later rules to override previous rules. So I set this here a pair, to give all the paragraphs a background of red. And then underneath it, I give all the paragraphs um, a background of green, you will expect all the paragraphs to be green as they are because this rule overrides this rule. But that isn't always the case. If we change this here to selector of oops, test, looking for the um, element with a, sorry about that with the ID of test. That's this paragraph right here. Even though this rule, targeting paragraphs, is comes after this rule, which means it should override it, you'll see the paragraph two does get the red coloring because of CSS selector specificity. This rule is more specific than this rule, and therefore it gets precedence. You can actually calculate the specificity of your rules. For each HTML element name within your rule, you can give it one point. So this selector is only worth one point. For each ID, you give it 100 points. So this selector is actually worth 100 points. If we create another one here uh, for dot item paragraph and set this background to um, orange, this is going to have a specificity of 11 because a class is worth 10 points and like we already said an element is worth one point so you'll see here we have two divs with class of item this one here and this one here but even though this item item.p should be overriding hash test because test is within a div with class of item it won't override it because paragraph 2 has a higher specificity hash test so let's try one more. Um, if we let's do um, well, we can say body wrap paragraph and give it a uh, background of yellow. And to actually see this working, we'll have to move it up here. Put it above our general paragraph selector. This we calculate the specificity here well the body is worth one because it's a paragraph or oh, I'm sorry it's a HTML element wrap is worth 100 points and then the final paragraph is worth one point so altogether this equals 102 points so let's save that refresh it and you'll see here that indeed this paragraph number one gets the yellow coloring so that's CSS selector specificity just remember that HTML elements get one point classes get 10 points and IDs get 100 points and that way you won't be confused when uh, rules don't seem to be overriding like they should.